Today I'm gonna show you three ways to use GitHub in VS Code. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value. Hopefully. Today we talk about how you can use GitHub from within VS Code, and I have three ways for you to do so. Actually, four, because I have a bonus one for you at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around for it. All right, let's start the clock and get into it. The first way to use GitHub in VS Code, as you probably can imagine, is the source control part. To use GitHub in VS Code as source control, you don't need to install any external component. When you open it, you can already clone a repository and then click on clone from GitHub. When you do so, it will ask for login, and after you've done it, you'll have a list of all the repositories you have the rights to work on. Just pick one, choose the local folder where you want the code to be stored, and you're done. After changing the code, you can go to the source control icon in the menu to stage and commit your code locally. And remember to add a commit message. And when you're ready to save the changes into GitHub, just click on the push button and your code will be uploaded to GitHub. This was pretty straightforward. Let's move to the next one, which is managing your GitHub pull request from within VS Code. For this one, we need to install the GitHub pull request and issues extension. To do so, just head over the extension tab in the menu bar and just search for GitHub. I recommend using the official one, as you can see here. After you've installed it, just head over the new icon that appears in the menu. Here you will see all the pull requests of the project you're working on. You can also create a new pull request, just selecting the target branch, setting the title, and that's it. This creates a new pull request, and of course, then you will be able to edit it as well. If instead you want to work on PRs that are already open, you can search them in different categories. Just select one, and you can see its description page, and review each file in it. After reviewing it, you can add your comments to it, and request changes, approve it, or close it. Finally, if everything is okay, you can merge it back to your main branch. This was really easy to do as well. I think the PR experience for GitHub in VS Code is pretty cool. It might not be as powerful as the one in the web UI of GitHub, but it's pretty darn close. All right, next one is managing issues in GitHub from within VS Code. And remember, we have the bonus one after that. But before we move to that, click the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. It will help this video to be recommended to more viewers and would mean a lot to me. To manage your GitHub issues, you need the same extension we have seen before, as well as the same menu tab. In here, you can see all the issues that are assigned to you and created in the repo you're working on. You can create a new issue as well. Just click on the plus sign and fill in the fields. If you have custom issues templates, those will appear here and you'll be able to use them instead. After creation, you will have two options. You can either use the globe icon to open the issue on the web, because unfortunately it is not yet possible to manage or edit the issue directly in VS Code, or you can use the arrow icon. The arrow icon will automatically assign the issue to you, and in fact you see it under My Issues. This function will also automatically assign the issue to the next code commit, if you want instead to avoid that, you can use the square box icon. The issue will still be assigned to you, but won't be associated to the commit. Those were the three ways we have right now to use GitHub from within VS Code. But as I promised you, I have a bonus one for you. And it's about using and managing GitHub Code Spaces. To use GitHub Code Spaces from VS Code, first we need to have the proper extension installed. Go to the Extensions menu and search for Code Spaces. Here you can find the GitHub Code Spaces one that you can install. This will add the new item to the Remote Explorer tab, and you can head on it and choose GitHub Code Spaces from the drop-down menu. Here you will be able to see your existing code spaces or create a new one. To create a new one, click on the plus, select the repository in which you want to create it, pick the branch, and select the size of the new code spaces environment. If you want to connect to an existing one instead, just click on it and use the plug icon. This will start and load the code spaces environment and let you manage it as you would normally do on the web interface. Lastly, you can either disconnect from an environment or stop it entirely from within the Remote Explorer tab as well. If you want to know more about GitHub Code Spaces and how to use and manage them, I have an entire series of videos just about them. You can find the link up here and in the video description. And we're done. Today I've definitely not stayed within the 3 minutes limit. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below how you use GitHub with VS Code or VS Code with GitHub, either one. And let me know also if you do or use something that I haven't shown. Comment down below and share it with all of us. Today we talk about how can you at the end of this video, so still from within Visual Studio, no. All right, next one is managing the GitHub issues from within, within. 
Just click on the high, bu high button in the next video here at Cutter Dave. Ot. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Cutter Dave.